As the foundation includes the analysis and design of drill piers embedded in soil, but how do you actually analyze a drill pier embedded in multiple layers of soil with different properties? And once you find the maximum moment, maximum shear along the pile, how do you design the reinforcement according to the ash to LRFD? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to design completely from scratch a drill pier embedded in four layers of soil per the Ashto LRFD 2020 design code. Let's get started. This is a drill pier 100 feet long embedded in four layers of soil. These are the properties of each layer. This image represents the horizontal modulus of subgrade reaction for each layer. At the top, we have the following loads. PU, which is the actual load, 700 kips. Shear, 60 kips. And bending moments are at the top of the pile, 600 kip feet. All these loads are factored because they are coming from the extreme event in ASHTO load combinations. The project is located in a seismic performance zone, SBC3. The PR diameter is 60 inches, concrete F prime C is 4 KSI, and still FY 60 KSI. The goal is to analyze the drill pier and find the reinforcement along the pier. Let's get started. To do that, let's go to ASDIP Foundation. When you open ASDIP Foundation, you see the project manager. Here you can see the modules included in the package spread footings, strap footings, combined footings, wall footings, pile caps, and pile analysis and design. I have already created a set of examples for this purpose, so let's open the example corresponding to Ashto. And this is a template of the pile analysis and design module in ASDI Foundation. At the left, you enter the information. At the right, you see the results. In geometry, you enter all the dimensions, and here the reinforcement. We'll be back on this shortly. If we go to the materials tab, here you enter all the pile properties, the concrete and steel strengths, and here in the soil, the thickness of the layer, the soil type, the lateral subgrade reaction per the uh, soils report. In the loads tab, you enter the loads at the top of the pile, factor loads, and service loads. We go back to the geometry tab. Here we enter the information that we know from the statement of the problem. The pile diameter is 60 inches. Then the pile length is 100 feet. The head condition is free. And the reinforcement for now, we can enter uh, some rebars. We can later check the adequacy of all this. For now, we are using 20 bars, number 10, longitudinal bars. Then the cage length is 100 feet, the whole length of the pier. We are using a spiral, number 6, at 4 at the top and at 9 at the bottom. All this can change when we check the adequacy. In the materials tab, the concrete F prime C is 4 KSI and uh, steel rebars 60 KSI. In the loads, these are the loads given in the statement of the problem. Actual load 700 kips, moment is 600 kip feet, and the shear load is 60 kip. We can, we can see this graphically if we go to the graph tab. Here we can see the pile embedded in four layers of soil. All these layers were defined here in the materials tab. So this is a graphical representation. So it's the thickness of the layer, then the soil type, and the lateral modulus of subgrade reaction per layer. Graphically, this is a profile of the lateral subgrade reaction for this pile. Here in Araglans, this is a summary of the results. We can see immediately if everything is passing or if something is failing. We immediately can identify the issue and go to check in further detail. To do that, we go to the Condense tab. Here is a more detailed set of calculations, group by topic, with more information for a greater detail. 
If we need more detail, we go to the detail tab. It's a step-by-step -step set of calculations with exposed formulas and references to the ASHTO code. This is uh, intended for granular checking. All the calculations are reported here. In the lateral analysis, this is a, a table that shows the uh, analysis results. At every two feet of pile depth is reported the shear, moment, and deflection of the pile for the whole length, for the 100 feet length of pile. Graphically, we can go to the graph tab. This is the shear diagram, this is the moment diagram, and this is the deflection diagram for this load combination. In addition, the program calculates the interaction diagram for this pile according to the size and according to the reinforcement that we specify. This point represents the loads that we specify. The loads are falling inside the usable area. That means that the design is adequate. If we go to the construction tab, this shows a pile elevation showing the rebars. If we go to the detail tab, we can go in more detail in the set of calculations. Here the program reports the applied loads, axial 700, shear 60 kip, and moment 600 kip feet. Then the program determines what is the maximum uh, shear and, and bending moment along the pile. Maximum shear is 60 kip, and maximum bending moment is 938. This corresponds in the table to this point at 10 feet uh, below the surface. Graphically, we go to the diagrams. This is the point that represents the maximum bending moment, the maximum shear, the maximum deflection. Go back to the detail tab. In the reinforcement design, this project is located in a seismic performance zone 3. It was defined in loads, show parameters. Here in Ashto, we are defining the seismic performance zone 3. The program checks the minimum number of rebars. In this case, it's 6. We are specifying 20, rebars number 10. So we are passing with this check. Then the program checks the minimum area of steel and the maximum area of steel. All these checks are passing. The program calculates the depth of fixity, which is defined the depth at which the moment is equal to 5% of the uh, maximum moment. This occurs at the depth of 53 feet. This is calculated internally. Then the cage length minimum is either the depth of fixity plus 10 feet or the depth of fixity plus 3 diameters. Then the program calculates the cage length minimum as 68 feet, which is less than 100 feet that we are specifying, so the check is passing. Also, the program calculates the development length for the embedment of the rebars in the pile cap. For the transverse steel, we are specifying spiral number 6 at 4. The program checks the minimum bar diameter as 3 8 is passing because we are specifying uh, 3 quarters. And then the volumetric uh, ratio is calculated here and the check is passing in this example. The maximum spacing of the spiral at the top portion of the pile is 4 inches, which complies what we are defining, and the minimum top length of the cage is 68 feet. Then for the bottom portion of the pile, the, we are using a spiral number 6 at 9, and the maximum bottom spacing is 9 inches, so this check is passing as well. Here at the bottom is uh, details of the calculation of the, the interaction diagram that we saw graphically. Here are some important notes from ASHTO, particular note number 3, the FHWA NH1-10016 recommends to extend the cage over the full length of the drill pier, and then half of the reinforcement can be cut off below the required cage length. This is important, this uh, recommendation has been followed in the example, and this is the methodology that the program follows. If we go to the graph tab, go to the construction tab, this is a pile elevation of the final design, 20 bars, number 10, with 3 inches clear cover all the way down the pile. So the cage length is 100 feet, the whole length of the pier. Then for the top 70 feet of the pier, we are specifying number 6 spiral at 4 inches. 
And for the bottom portion of the pier, we are specifying number six spiral and nine inches. All this complies with the hash two requirements. Please note that all these requirements change according to the seismic performance zone, but the program checks all the code requirements. With this, we conclude the presentation of this Ashto drill pier analysis and design using as the foundation. As you can see, it's easy to analyze and design a drill pier embedded in multiple layers of soil. The program checks all the code requirements and you can complete the design in uh, just a few minutes, which otherwise probably could take hours if you try to do it by hand. If you like the software, please visit the website www.zipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.